Hello Pisces and welcome to your spirit guide messages. This is a timeless tarot reading so it's meant to help you with your current situation you're going through or something to come in the future along with some blessings that are on their way to all the Pisces out there. So let's get right in and see what your spirit guides want to tell you guys. All right, Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trusting the process, Dharma. All right, Pisces, so you are in a period of stillness, of quietness, or you're moving into that, and it's because you really need to recharge, you need to reclaim lost pieces of yourself, and so if you've just been feeling really drained, exhausted, pulled in a million directions, um, lacking motivation, searching for purpose and understanding, it's because you've been preparing to go into this mode. And when you go into this mode, it's like going into the cocoon because you are about to transform into a new version of yourself. And that's why your guides are saying, hey, trust the process. Dharma, this is your journey. This is your destiny. And you need to take a moment to rest, to relax, to rejuvenate, recharge mentally, emotionally, spiritually, maybe even physically, because there's a lot of be big, beautiful changes that are up ahead for you, okay? So let's pull another card and see what else your guides would like to add. Celebration, joy guides, see Pisces? There are good things that are coming. There are good things that are up ahead. And right now, you really need to just take a moment. Really reassess your past, everything that's been, because this to me, it feels like a big shift, a big change unfolding for you guys in ways that you can't anticipate because they're saying you're gonna be celebrating with happiness and joy. So trust the stillness, trust the stagnation, trust um, the restriction you feel. It's for great purpose right now. And divine timing is everything. You don't want something before it's ready to be received or before you are ready to receive it. And oh my gosh, I think my daughter is up there vacuuming. And I'm like, I'm doing readings down here, hud. And she's like, okay, let me just pull out the vacuum. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. But hey, I mean, how synchronistic, right? Part of the, the stillness is purging, is cleansing too, right? Look at that, your path. Dear Lord, help me to trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Yes, Pisces, trust your path exactly where you are right now today. All is well, even if it doesn't seem as such, even if it's not containing everything that you desire, trust your path right now. You are going to be celebrating very, very soon, okay? Um, different challenges, different struggles, different restrictions that you've been dealing with, they're going to dissipate. And remember, the restrictions, the blocks are there for purpose. It's not time to proceed forward just yet. You've got to reclaim pieces of yourself. You've got to recalibrate, all right? And you're going to notice um, as this is happening, when you emerge from the cocoon, you are going to feel a huge difference in yourself. And when the blessings come in and it's time to celebrate, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm glad this didn't show up until right now. I truly wasn't ready for it any minute sooner than today. So let's pull some tarot and go deeper. I need to do another shuffle. I was about to cut and I'm like, nope, shuffle some more. Okay. Alright. 
Empress, Fool, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Oops. the Tower. Oh, Pisces. I like that this is at the center of your read, actually. Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Queen of Swords. Yes, Pisces, you are about to move into a period of beautiful abundance, stability, walking away from all the things that restrict you right now today, all the things that irritate you, frustrate you, you feel like you're pushing up against, they make you feel helpless, okay? You are really evolving beyond that. You truly, truly are into a beautiful new beginning that is very abundant and prosperous for you, okay? And here it is. You are walking away from, you know, the challenge, the restriction, because something very unexpected, very shocking happens. But remember, it's for the positive because we're celebrating here. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry. They're so loud up there. You've been waiting for this with the three of wands you have learned you have done your work and you've gone through all the lessons that have created the divine timing for you to receive with this queen of swords this is you being um perfectly balanced mentally spiritually emotionally uh, making very wise decisions okay and with the seven of wands um, as things shift and change for you, you don't need to remain in like a fear-based energy of, you know, is the other shoe going to drop? Can I trust this? Your guides are like, yes, Pisces, you could trust this because you are walking away. Okay, you're walking away from something very unexpectedly, but it's it's what you've been waiting for, and it brings joy and happiness, okay? And this is a general read, so what that is is different for each and every one of you. You guides are just saying right now, really trust your path. You are on the right path, even if in moments it doesn't seem as such. Nine of Swords. So you are in a bit of a state of worry. Ace of Wands. I love that the Ace of Wands comes out on the Fool. King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Wands. So you got the Three of Wands twice. Two of Swords. You don't see this coming, that's for sure. <laughs> you got the Tower twice. Nine of Cups. You're kind of scared getting your dream come true here. And five of wands. Okay, Pisces, you are worrying way, way, way too much. Um, that's why your guides are so strong in trust your path right now. It is leading to where you want it to lead. Just always make sure that you are open for inspired action and you act upon it when it comes your way. All right, because you are going to come into new energy, new beginning. Right now, you're just in that period where you've really got to be still and you've got to regenerate and recharge and allow yourself to transform, all right? Because then here it comes, the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Swords. This to me is speaking to your Divine Feminine and your Divine Masculine energies within. You are in balance. You are in harmony. You are going to know exactly what you need to do and you're going to have the strength and every single thing you need to execute it, to make it happen. All right. And here it is. I see the sadness. It's like in the past you lost something or you had to walk away from something that you felt was good. And your guides are coming in and saying, Pisces, yeah, that was good. But this that's about to come is even better. 
that thing was just a stepping stone along this journey, okay? And you've been waiting. You got the three of wands side by side. You've been waiting for this shift, this change. It comes so unexpectedly. You don't see it, Pisces. You do not see it. But every single thing that you have been through, that you've gone through, is leading you to this unexpected, all right? And it's like a wish come true. And it's just all like such a rush of energy so unexpected it's almost like you're like whoa whoa is this real is this stable is this for me yes it is don't don't um create fear-based energy around this beautiful thing that's unfolding in your life because it is meant for you you have manifested this for yourself it is part of your path it's trusting in the process your path trust this journey that you are currently on even though you can't see that far up ahead, there are things that are going to happen very, very unexpectedly. And you're going to be so happy, Pisces. You really, really are. Uh, and it's so shocking. Like I said, you're almost like, whoa, is this real? Yes, it is real. You had to lose something good or walk away from something good in the past. But it's truly to create the space for something amazing, something great, something much, much better than that good thing. So don't get caught up in your head. Don't stress. Don't overanalyze. Don't worry. Your guides are saying right now the only thought you should maintain is this all is well. I am on my path and it's leading me to exactly where I want to be. It's about divine timing. I am in the last leg of this journey, which means it's time to rejuvenate so that I can transform into the next version of myself, which I've earned from all the lessons and work that I've been doing. Okay, so you're just in that stagnated, um, slow moving energy but all is well, it's gonna change rather unexpectedly, like out of nowhere, Pisces. <laughs> and uh, don't fear it, don't fear it. Embrace this big, beautiful change. Embrace the transformation of you and the process in which that must be, okay? Um, don't worry about abundance, don't worry about the future, don't worry about anything. All is falling into place, all right? And everything you need um, to move forward, you will receive it in the time that's proper for everything to fall into place properly. All right, so let's pull one final card for you guys. And again, I apologize for all the racket upstairs. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like you get two Pisces because these two jumped right on out. Okay, let's see, what do we have? Partnership, learn to grow with others, overcome obstacles by working together, touch each other's heart with life's lasts. Oh, I'm sorry, touch each other's hearts while life lasts, sorry. So Pisces, my singles, there's love, okay? And some of you, it's not love, romance you're looking for, it's just a good friend, a kindred spirit. That's on the horizon here. And I love the butterflies there because you are transforming, Pisces. And next we have expectation. Be open for whatever comes next. I might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. Yes, see? Something good had to go. Something good was lost. But that's so something even better could come in, Pisces. I promise you. Okay, so your spirit guides have spoken. And you know what? I feel my daughter making all that ruckus uh, or ruckus upstairs is also like shut all the noise out from everybody else, including your own um, fear based energies and thoughts. It's time to push that all far away from you and trust that you are on the right path and things are unfolding exactly as they should. And it is going to get good, Pisces. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.